your BTW 21 weather forecast with Dustin Staples. Hi there, Martin of Hendrick County. It's weatherman Dustin Staples coming to you here on this Monday afternoon. Well, it just seems like we just can't get enough of this heat. We've been seeing this for now almost two weeks going on nonstop with the 90s in the forecast. Hazy, hot, humid, just unbearable conditions. We're going to start out with our hour by hour forecast this evening temperatures staying relatively warm right now a mix of clouds or sun is pretty much the dominant thing for the rest of the night of course uh, the heat the uh, caution alert symbol is out there because it is really humid and again our heat index values have been climbing for the rest of the afternoon so something you've been noticing from that for sure we do bring back clouds overnight this evening still relatively humid uh, with a light and variable wind so more so of a uh, calm and a stagnant wind than anything else. Tomorrow we raise the mercury even higher. We're closing in the mid 90s and mix of sun and clouds. Straight chance of an afternoon shower and or thunderstorm is possible. Lows in the 70s. Uh, so unfortunately this hot, humid, muggy weather is going to continue to stick around for the rest of the week. And so that's what we're going to be cautioning you just to please be easy if you're going to be doing anything outdoors. Uh, look before you lock. There is a weather article I put together over the weekend. You can check that at btw21.com it has the, a, just a lot of good information regarding um, you know heat safety sunscreen when you're out here just in this heat so check that out that article is again at btw21.com summer heat and safety tips remember it's going to be again partly cloudy skies the rest of the week however we cannot roll out an isolated shower or storm like we've been seeing uh, during our typical summer months and which we're in right now so here we are mid-july no surprise to see just a few passing showers and storms. Again, by the weekend, we could be talking about some high heat index values closing in near 100 to 102. So that's something we got to keep a very close eye on. And at last but not least, our dew points are going to be very tropical over the next several to ten, seven to ten days, it looks like. Uh, so we do see this uh, tropical air mass uh, staking in place. And of course, speaking of tropical, we had Tropical Storm Barry that made, it was a hurricane uh, over the weekend, made landfall just south of Louisiana, in the Louisiana coastline, south of New Orleans, uh, giving them parts of a lot of rain, of almost a half a foot to a foot of rain in some areas. That is now weakened with just a remnant low pressure system. It's gonna be riding up in parts of the uh, mid-south, of course, giving them a lot of rain over the next several days forecasting showing between two and five inches for parts of Mississippi and Tennessee uh, and so even including Arkansas as well that low pressure system will be making its way to our area so that's why possibly on the weekend we'd be having a little bit of rain more so of that severe weather potential so still several days out but that is the latest on any of the tropical activity rest of the Atlantic Basin remaining quiet of course the Pacific West had an early start to their season so they have been fairly quiet and very active for sure and things are just getting started as we'll be approaching the peak of hurricane season before too long all right that's enough of my time here with us be sure to follow us on facebook at btw21 and btw21 live on twitter and btw21.com for all the latest martinsville news weather sports and entertainment and much more heading your way on your neighborhood network your btw21 weather forecast with dustin staples